How big is the human genome? Anyone have an idea? Four billion base pairs. Any other advance on four billion? It's close. It's not four billion. It's actually 3.1 billion. So four billion is pretty close. Yours may be four billion. You may have a few extra. <laughs> How big are bacteria? How big is a bacterial genome? Take a guess. 100,000 base pairs. That's a little bit on the small size. The smallest, the, mm, I think the smallest one is a little bit bigger than that. Although people are always trying to find the smallest possible bacterial genome. Um, but on average, on average, bacterial genomes are about 2 million base pairs. In case I forget, so um, this we abbreviate to 3.1 gigabase pair. This we ab abbreviate to 100 kilobases. And this we abbreviate to 2 megabases, right? So we're using the standard SI prefixes here. K kilo for 1,000, mega M for a million, giga for 10 to the 9. So when we talk about sequencing the genome, what we're talking about really is understanding the order of the A, G, C, and T in each of these things. So the human genome has three times 10 to the nine letters, but it's only combinations of A, G, C, and T. There's only those four bases, there's only those four letters that make up the human genome. Bacterial genomes, they have two million letters, but there's only A, G, C, and T, and it's only combinations of those that make up the genome. So when we talk about sequencing the genome, what we really mean is deciphering the order of the A's, G's, C's, and T's in whatever we're looking at. So the reason in this course we're looking at bacterial genomes and not human genomes, well, there's a bunch of different reasons, one of which is that human genomes are really boring because they're all the same. But the main reason is that We've gone from 3 times 10 to the 9 to 2 times 10 to the 6. So we're, we've reduced our complexity by a millionfold. What that means in, in reality is that you can actually analyze the data on a free Amazon machine or on your laptop or on a regular computer, whereas if we try to do a lot of this stuff on, on the human genome, we'd need more complex, bigger servers to compute on. Yeah? 